Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, we're down here at the test plot out in the blazing sun. Um, wanted to come down and check on it. Today is, uh, I believe, Tuesday, August the 30th. So we cut this Saturday, August the 27th. Um, looks pretty good. I haven't done the test on it yet. It's very dry on top, of course. Um, it's a little green on the underneath, but I think it's uh, dry enough to do. So I'm gonna do the test here and see. And uh, you can all laugh while I try to remember how to do this. But uh, they were calling for a little bit of rain this afternoon. Um, looks like it's not going to, so I don't know. We're not supposed to have much rain all week. I don't know whether to leave it another day or go ahead and try it um, without being able to rake it and really flip it over or anything. I don't think it's going to you know, dry out anymore on the bottom, but um, let me go over here and look while I'm babbling and see what... Uh, you know, like I said, it's real thin right here. So this is a low spot. You can tell here, so the cutter, I mean, I'm I'm probably, there's probably another seven or eight inches there, but you can see right there, I believe I dug the bar in, the cutter bar right there, but this, this is what I'm talking about, how rough it is out here. So it's gonna be a tough go of it. Yeah, that's still pretty green, but it feels crunchy, so I don't know. I believe Jack will eat it. I just, like I said, I know, you guys were telling me, you know, spoiling and uh, fire, of course. I don't need anything else with fire, but I believe it's dried out enough. I mean, we've had very hot days and sunshine since Saturday. So let me do the twist here, and uh, we'll see. If so, I might go hook the baler up and see if we can spit some cubes out today. Okay, well, found me a shady spot. Get out of the sun for a few minutes. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything with it. Uh, too scared about it, you know heating up too much i mean it's definitely too wet i know that i mean i don't know anything about this but i know that that's it's way too wet in certain spots i don't know what the solution is i'm tempted to go up here and get grandpa's uh pitchfork and flip it over by hand if i do that i'll definitely bring you guys along but uh, i don't know i think it's a prime example of putting the cart before the horse i mean you know who mows grass and hay without having a hay rake and tether ready but uh definitely not going to happen today um We'll see how it goes, uh, make some kind of decisions. I don't know whether to run it back through the hay pine or flip it over by hand or just continue to let it dry. We'll just have to see what happens. So I'm not gonna continue to babble. That's all I've done here for the first three or four minutes of the video. So definitely stay tuned. I'll let you know what we decide.
Well guys and gals, we did it. We bailed hay at IP Farms. My family, first time in over 40 years. Ironically, we got 40 square bales on the ground. Not very good quality, just a bunch of weeds, but it gave me the experience I needed, I think. Um, can't complain about the baler. Uh, need to lengthen it up a little bit, and I might need to back off on the uh, compaction of the bales, I'm not real sure. They're very, very tight packed really really tight but they're not hairy uh, strings are tight I don't know um, I'm, I'm very pleased with what I've got in that baler I can't complain one bit so the only issue I had and I had you guys set up and uh, my little magnet here folded right over so you're not gonna be able to see anything but it did not uh, tie anything uh, it's almost like the string wasn't wrapping around the bales at all the first three uh, stopped pulled everything apart just like I was putting new twine in it and uh, you know tied the ends of the string down the bottom and uh, cycled the knotters and we went to town and after that it never missed anything not one single knot can't be happier with the baler and today's progress all right let me get situated and we'll wrap this one up Okay, everybody, we're going to wrap this one up and call it a video. The sun's going down on me fast here in the bottom. Uh, tickled to death. Can't say it enough. Uh, how ironic is it? 40 plus years, me and my mom went over the dates again. So my grandpa did this, and we put 40 bales in the ground today. I think he was with me for sure. I'm tickled to death. The equipment performed flawlessly from start to finish. A uh, little bit of issue with the baler in the beginning after I got it situated. Never missed a beat. I know the bales are a little bit short and they might be packed a little bit too tight, but I can't complain for what I've got in this unit, not one bit. Um, used as 165 today. I would planned on using the 250 and did not even realize till today that I don't have a belly bar for it, so I couldn't hook the baler up. So in the future, hopefully we'll have the 250 hooked to the baler. We'll use that as 165 for the rake and the uh, hay bind. And then when I get the round baler going, we'll use the 1086. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm not real sure how the footage turned out. I uh, got some different clips, uh, you know, different ways, but I'll tell you what, it's it's an awesome day, awesome day. This little test plot and deciding to do this and finally putting forth effort is has really worked out. Um, can't say thank you enough for everything you guys do. Uh, all the new subscribers, you guys have been with me from day one. The constant motivation and support is, is awesome. Uh, thank you for that. It's kept me going in some uh, down times for sure. Um, We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to come down here and get this up tomorrow, tarp it up, leave it on the trailer for a couple of days just to make sure and put it in the barn and we'll see if Jack will eat it this winter. So we'll see what we can get into. Thank you, everybody. Until next time.